up, nerds and nerdettes, and we little nerdlings all. It's your buddy, Big John and G, the two gun fiction presents Legendary Gaming. The Op brings us the newest title in the Rising series, and this, Batman Who Laughs Rising. This is by The Op. It's good to one to four players, ages 15 and up, and should take you about 60 to 90 minutes once you know the rules. From the DC Dark Knight Metal comic series, the evil hybrid of Batman and Joker, the Batman Who Laughs is determined to unleash the Dark Knights and Barbados on Prime. In The Batman Who Laughs Rising, a passage from the Dark Multiverse has allowed the most dangerous evildoers to infiltrate Gotham City. And these Dark Knights, alongside their menacing leader, are eager to do their worst to the city. Players roll dice and work together to save the multiverse, starting with one of four starting heroes, Wonder Woman. Green Lantern, Hawkeye, or the iconic Batman. And recruiting allies such as Harley Quinn, The Flash, and Cyborg, whose skills can complete objectives or help recover what is lost to darkness. Take out villainous versions of Batman such as the Merciless, the Dawnbreaker, and the Murder Machine before facing off with the psychotic, jokerized antagonist himself, who's represented by a custom-sculpted, full-color figure who commands a fistful of chained evil robins. Wow, how can that description not set you off a film like this is going to be an awesome game? Okay, so right off the bat, this is part of an ongoing, independent series. None of these games are really compatible with each other and they're all standalone, but they they're kind of the same game mostly, with a lot of different skins. I'm talking about previous titles such as The Avengers Infinity War, Thanos Rising, Harry Potter, Death Eaters Rising, and Star Wars Dark Side Rising. You're dealing here with a game based on the metal series of DC, their dark universe, and one of the most evil villains that they have ever created. And look from the description, this game is giving you rock solid characters that you're going to be able to begin the game with. If this is anything like the Avengers game, then these are team unit leaders. But you know, I haven't played the game, that's why it's on my radar and not on the tabletop takeout. <laughs> this game follows in the footsteps of their previous games, a dice set collection sort of game where you're going to be trying to mix and match results to get the desired results that you want. And this is a really popular series, this is a popular style even of dice gaming. And since it's based on some of the most well-known characters in superhero lore, super villain lore, Comic books in general, this has a great base to draw from, just as the Thanos Rising game did. And with a few different tweaks that they add to each game, does make it feel different enough that it's not just a re-skinning. If you're a fan of Batman and you enjoy board games, this is the dark Batman game you've been waiting for. The villains are as dark and evil, more so, than any have been in DC comic history before. And you're going to get a chance to go head to head with them, you and your friends, in this cooperative game. There are so many reasons that this is on my radar, but those right there are the strongest. I think you need to check this game out, because this might be something that you've been looking for.